Hello and welcome back to another episode of DCS in 10 minutes or less with the Mirage 2000. This is episode 16, which will be going over IFF. If you're a Hornet pilot, this might be a touchy subject for you. Hope you guys enjoy. Let's get into it. Hey guys, we're going to go over IFF, which is Identification of Friend or Foe. This is a system that allows military aircraft to identify who's friendly using the radar. Before we go into this, we're going to go over the control we need. So make sure you go to Adjust Controls. Mirage 2000 selected. You're going to need nozzle steering slash IFF and TR gate. Alright, so now you got that, we're going to go over the IFF transponder briefly. So it's going to be located right below the radar display and in front of the stick. So let's pause. That should be good. Alright, so this panel right here is your IFF transponder. The reason why we're not going to talk about it is because none of this is functional. So the reason why it's not functional is because the IFF frequencies and codes are not really implemented in DCS. So until then, the IFF transponder will remain not functional. Alright, next will be that IFF interrogator panel. Alright, this is going to be located right below the PCM panel, the navigation panel. Alright, so the mode selector, which is this dial right here. IFF code switch right here. And the IFF code selector. These are not functional for the same reason as mentioned before. What is functional is the power switch. So you got off, section, and full. So off obviously means it's off. You go to section. It's going to give you a 20 degree arc in correlation to wherever your TDC sleeves at. So there's your 20 degree arc right there. You go full. It's going to give you a full search pattern to whatever uh, search pattern you have selected. So right now we have 60 degrees. We got a 60 degree arc. 30 degrees, 30 degree arc, and 50 degrees. Alright, so next we're going to go over IFF symbology on the radar display. Okay, so we're going to go over IFF symbology on your radar display. Right now the game is paused. I have a 30 degree scan selected. We have two radar contacts out here. I'm going to unpause the game. Alright, I'm going to hit nose with scan slash IFF and tier gate. Okay, so. When you do that, you're going to have this dash line pop up. This dash line is only going to pop up for 0.5 seconds, so half a second. During this process, uh, you, your radar is searching for a friendly IFF beacon slash transponder. And then once the process is complete, the line will go solid. So again, it only takes half a second. It's looking for a friendly radar contact. Okay, line is solid. We have this diamond right here. This diamond is indicating we have a friendly beacon out there. Normally the beacon or IFF diamond will be within the contact, but since it's not inside the contact, it's closest to this contact, that's going to be our friendly. Again, IFF is friendly or foe. He does not respond, so he's most likely a foe. We're going to unpause. We're going to do it one more time. Make sure. Okay, so he's not responding. He is, so he's our friendly. He's our foe. Um, for whatever reason, if you have so many targets out there, the max number of friendlies you can scan in one search pattern will be 64 friendlies. So you can have 64 diamonds out there in one search, which would be crazy. Okay, so now we're going to lock this guy up in uh, pick mode. So right now we're in PID, which is TWS. I'm going to switch it to pick, which will be STT, and we'll have different symbology. Okay, so now we're in pick. We're going to lock him up. So on pick mode, when you're going to do your IFF, it's going to go instantly to a 20 degree arc instead, and you have a different symbology. Okay, so a 20 degree arc right there. And now we have two lines, so no more diamond, two lines. Do it again. I'm going to unlock him. We're going to find our foe right here. Lock him up. Alright, so 20 degree line. A 20 degree arc. No lines. Do it one more time. So he's not responding. So, uh, one more thing. I can't do it in a mission editor, so I'll show a picture of it. But so there's going to be a doubtful target. There will be a uh, line going diagonally across, so like so. Again, I'll post the picture up there. Alright, next we're going to go over is going to be HUD IFF symbology. See you there. <laughs> All 
All right, so yeah, welcome to the IFF Hustomology portion. All right, so when we do this, think of it like the radar display IFF. So I'm gonna go to weapon, I'm gonna switch it to pick, I'm gonna lock this guy up. Turn down the missile volume quick. Okay, so the reason why I say think of it like the radar symbology portion, and IFF now. Okay, so that bar underneath means that we're IFFing him. That A means that he's a friendly. So think of it as the dash line turns into a solid line, now we have a diamond. Okay, so now we know he's friendly. Let's do it one more time. Just to confirm, because I know people are suspicious about IFF, he is friendly. Unlock him. Get this red F-16 right here. IFF, nothing comes back. IFF, nothing comes back like the radar symbology, so we know he's hostile. And he has a red tag. Alright, I want that red F-16 right there for this next portion. Okay, perfect. Okay, so we locked him up, we IFF him, he has a D. D means doubtful. So what doubtful is, is that we locked a hostile contact up, but there's a friendly in the area, which is this F-16 right here. So enemy F-16, friendly F-16. So that means they're within proximity of each other, normally like during a dogfight, like they are right now. But he gets a further enough gap. I mean, IFF him. He's not far enough yet. But yeah, normally when he gets far enough, it would just be like that last guy, like it is right now. Alright, again, that covers IFF. Hopefully this was helpful for you guys. See you on the next one. Later.